Do, 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 do. Hello to all the head besties in the land. You have asked for it, so I'm gonna do a tutorial with my mom. I haven't seen my mom in two I mean, years. I, she missed me because it's been two years. Here's the paranormal hair activity situation here. Okay, she has silver hair. My mom's hair has grown out. She hasn't retouched it in like over a year and a half. And you can see her last color was about level five. So why do you think you're ready to be silver now all over? Is it the maintenance? You don't want to deal with coloring your hair anymore? You just want to be all silver? What is it? Is it because you don't want to do all the retouching? Is it too much work? Yeah, because I don't want to retouch no more. Too much work? Too much work for me. Here's the back. Here's the sides. You know, this is paranormal. You know how it is with the paranormal hair activity situations. My best friend Ariana's here today and she's gonna help assist me doing my mom's hair, right Ariana? I'm so excited. As we go up here, you can see where all of her natural salt and pepper hair is. And you can see this little jagged demarcation line where her level five color was put on down through here. You can see where she has some dark low lights that is naturally her hair into there. She's already naturally really light up here in the front. But as we go down, you can see that five and eye that she's put on there with 20 volume over a year and a half ago and has grown out. But as we go through back here, this is not too bad. It's mainly on the ends, mainly on the tips. So the secret to removing this as much as possible without any challenges is we're going to do a color remover first using an oxidative dye remover. And what's going to happen is her artificial color will turn orange and then we're going to start using Big Nine to bleach her hair. We are using the color extractor right now. Removing the hair color, only the oxidative dyes will get affected. So even if I'm applying it on her natural hair, it's not going to lift her natural hair to expose any underlying pigment. So I'm not concerned with that. So using the mesh sheet ensure I have incubation so that way we get as much color extracted from those dyes that she has on her ends and then that will tell me where her hair is at so when we do big nine on it we get to lift her hair so much lighter without effort it's an oxidative dye remover so there's no fear of breaking the base to her hair her hair's been processing for 30 minutes with a color remover and you can see here all of the artificial dyes have been removed but it does not affect her natural hair so this will tell me where i need to place the lightener to further lighten these areas to make her hair silver you can see right through there always make sure you check every section just to make sure that everything's sat on long enough you can see how it's exposing the underlying pigment Right? because that's what permanent hair color does. Permanent hair color lifts the hair, exposes the underlying pigment, and deposit tone. That's what makes it permanent. Permanent is permanent because it permanently alters the hair. It's not permanent because it lasts forever, because everything fades. Nothing in life lasts forever. Okay, that's why we have to enjoy the moment we are in. I'm gonna pull it all at once, boom. All right, rinsing that hair out. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, you can see that underlying tone being exposed. She's been exposed. Look at that. But look how white that hair is. Yeah, we're gonna lift her hair to a level 10, 11. All right, so we are back. You can see her hair has been extracted. So this is the perfect canvas to lighten her hair with Big Nine. I got Olaplex 2 right here in this bowl. I'm using this as a barrier. Okay, so I got the Big Nine cream lightener in this bowl right here. And we also added Olaplex in there. Very little bit. Don't use too much. Just a drop, enough to protect the hair, as well as the collagen protective booster inside of the lightener. So make sure you use Big Nine Cream Lightener if you want to get the hair as light and white as possible to set the perfect canvas for silver. The key is your body position has to be in front of your client and you want to over direct everything towards you. So as you're moving through the back of the head, you're literally bringing all the hair forward. It prevents any demarcation line because if you stand horizontally in front of your, your client's position, you're going to create lines, lines, lines and steps. So by over-directing everything back, you're creating an extension so everything falls and elongates and you don't see that demarcation. Yeah, put that Olaplex number two right on her natural hair to protect it like a barrier right there. And then now we're going in with the Guy Tang Big Nine. We're going to apply it right on that hair that has been color treated. And remember, you can even move this up. Even if you're creating a straight line, it won't look that way. I'm gonna bring it all the way down, just like that. Make sure you pack that big nine on very heavy. So remember, even if you're creating a demarcation right here, you're not gonna see it because it's gonna separate. 
So the key is to do an overlay so that way you don't fold it on top of the Olaplex. Fold it up so it gets that proper incubation. Be very careful not to overlap the Olaplex number two onto the bleach. You have to keep a line of separation because if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're gonna create a, an orangey band because the lightener won't be able to lift its maximum level. So remember, this is only here to create adherence. So try not to bring it up too high where it merge and touch. Otherwise you have another color correction in your hands. And the whitener, right in through here. You could create that jagged line if you need to, but do not move it up into that demarcation where you put the Olaplex. Make sure you pack on the big nine heavy. So that way you get the maximum lift. Now I did use 30 volume because we want that extra lift. You could use 20, you could use 10, you could use 40 if needed to, but we wanna be safe here and preserve the integrity of her hair. Always integrity, you know, we need more integrity with people these days. Everything you gotta do, you gotta be able to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to have integrity. We sleep good. We sleep well. So every, every decision you make in life, think about the integrity. Think about the sleep that you need because you don't want to lose any sleep. Life is hard enough. So if you have not tried the Big Nine Cream Whitener, you're missing out because you're losing out on life. Do not think those blue lighteners will tone the hair because it's going to trick you and you can't see what's going on. You it's press it out and then you're in trouble. You know, when you're doing a severe color correction, you need something you can see the lip and what's going on. That's where that Olaplex number two is. You can see that line where the cream lighteners. I'm gonna feather a little bit. Okay, you don't need to make a complete straight line, just straight enough, okay? But leave that space because if they merge together, you have an orange band. <laughs> we don't need any paranormal situations, right, Ariana? No. And that's why the, having the Olaplex 2 is so crucial because it creates adherence. You see how the flow is able to adhere? There's no slippage. And plus you get a treatment, so why not? It's a two for one. So we're gonna start at the top first, work our way back, and then we're gonna work the sides. When you get to the back of the head, you then want to place the board and the foil going 180, directing everything back. Then you get that Olaplex paint right here, the retage base area for adherence. And then if you have an assistant, that'll be great because there I can hold the board and I could then hold the hair to focus on the hair here. And this stretch and over direction allows maximum blur. So when this hair falls, you don't see a harsh line. And that's the reason why you see so many harsh lines because if you're going horizontal up the head, placing it downwards, you are gonna see that line because it's laying at zero degrees. So you want to make sure the hair is elevated at 180, not zero. Even if you place a strong line, you're not gonna get a harsh line. So then here, you place the foil right there, lay it right on flat. These are the more to me foils that has me guy tang on it, but when you flip it down, you see guy tang again. <laughs> you fold it right back up, you see guy tang again. Isn't that cute? Here's my mom with her whole head filled with foils. You can see her whole head is just enveloped with all the foils. I'm gonna spin her around so you get to see all the foils wrapped around her head. Let's go ahead and check some of the foils back here. Let's just hold this little 10 so we can rinse this out already. Oh, look at that. We're gonna pull out now. <laughs> okay, gonna pull that out. Look at that. That's the perfect level you want. That's that level 10. You can see the Olaplex up here creating that barrier. But look at that. So you can see how this is gonna be the perfect color to take to silver. I should be wearing gloves, but we're just doing a quick pull out here so you get to see, so don't judge. Dramatic. You're like, whoa, that looks very dramatic. But what's going to happen is when we put the silver moon tone on it, everything's going to blur down. It's also because it's wet, but once you dry the hair, it will all merge together. You can really see how beautiful that blend is. All we have to do is glaze and blend. The first formula we're going to do on the back of a mom's head is 8SS Silver Smoke. This is going to go right in the nape area. It's demi permanent, so it doesn't break the base. You can actually put it right on the scalp, it will not lift the natural hair. ANSS is such a beautiful color. If you not use it, it gives you the perfect silver. But you want to do one to two ratio of the dedicated six volume developer. This ensures that the base doesn't break. It has a pH of 6.1 to 6.4, so it would not shift the base. Because we don't want the base shifted at all. 
No, after all that work, that's the last thing we need. <laughs> you only want to put in just a little bit, okay? Because you don't want to drop the pH too low because Olaplex does have a pH of 3.5. So you want enough, there you go. The Olaplex, it rebuilds the bonds in the hair because the hair has been lifted, you need that repair. The Guy Tang My Hair Collagen Powder. This will ensure that we repair the amino acids and the protein structure of the hair. Sprinkle that right on it. Silver Moon Dream 10 is my absolute favorite every time. Silver Moon 10 has a silver gray iridescent violet base. There is violet to turn off the yellow, but it's so iridescent that you're not gonna see the hair looking purple. One to two ratio of six volume developer. Always one to two when you're doing the dim light if you want it to be acidic, because you do not want to break that base. We're gonna apply this even on her virgin hair, and it's not gonna expose any underlying pigment. What you're gonna get is a gloss. It's gonna make her silver hair even more silvery and more icy, add shine. All right, this is the consistency of ADSS. Look at that. It's gonna be gorgeous. And we're gonna glaze all of this section with ADSS, okay? You'll see a soft demarcation line from where we did the over direction of the lightener, but you see how when it drops, it extends the move. Now what we're gonna do is blur this on down add the clear and remember because it's dimming permanent color it won't shift this base only add shine and then here where it's pre-lightened it's going to darken this line to blend in with the pepper in her hair then we're going to add clear right on her tips to make sure it looks natural so as it fades out and her as her hair grows out it'll look natural remember this is a level eight so you get to apply the level eight deposit plus because the hair is virgin it's not going to absorb the color like the hair that's been pre-lightened will. All right, so ADSS does have a silver, gray, violet background to it. So it will cancel the yellow you do see in her hair because she does have a little yellow here. That little bit of violet will cancel any yellow. So if your hair turns out a little bit too violet at first, after a couple shampoos, that violet will go away. But you need that violet to control any of the excess warmth. Otherwise, your hair can look green. And that's why that violet is there to actually ensure that your color looks beautiful. Now, if you want to add low lights to her hair, you can, because if you want to like blend some of these colors down, blend some of the pepper down, which we don't want to do because my mom does not want her natural hair to have any low lights, any bleach on it. If you are going to decide to add low lights, use Dark Shadows Guy Tan color, all right? Can you see how this doesn't affect her natural color? Makes life easier. A lot of times we think we always have to use permanent color. No, dimmy permanent color is your best friend because it doesn't affect the natural. Especially when you're using dimmy permanent color that's acidic. Now, if you're using a dimmy permanent that has alkaline or alkalinity to it, which can be a problem, you end up shifting the base to the hair. So when using Guy Tang, dimmy permanent cream color is acidic when mixing one to two ratio six volume, you have no fear. And this is why it's important to use the Guy Tang Demi Permanent Color Cream uh, for these type of corrective work. It makes the hair feel so much softer and you don't want to risk it after doing all this work. If you did all this work only to just mess it up because you broke the base, that's a nightmare, okay? Because all that hard work will be for nothing. Let's do the outline to define, meaning I define the section, the triangle, and then I fold the pages over like a book going vertically because you get to cover more spaces going vertically, right? To last in this industry without breaking your back and hurting your wrist, you got to think about ways to work smarter. Trust me. If you can, please use the dedicated developer because it ensures you won't cause a base break uh, and have the right consistency to have the product flow smoothly. I know you may ask, why didn't I just bleach the whole head? Well, one, my mom doesn't want her natural hair to be touched. She only wants those brown parts to be lifted out and be closest to her natural as possible so she could have a natural grow out. It's all about letting her natural hair grow out gracefully so she doesn't feel the pressure of like, oh my God, to retouch my hair. Oh my God, it's gonna fade. Oh my gosh, you know, because if you're doing a whole head, all this work she did a year and a half to two years trying to grow this out is wasted. Now she has to wait another year and a half for the bleach parts to grow out, no. This is the closest she's gonna get to having that natural result and grow it out gracefully. That's the silver pearl. You could use this in the shower. I also mix it with Olaplex number two or number three. This is a custom make Olaplex that I did. Look at this, it's like a, ooh, ooh. You see that? 
I added the my refresh silver pearl to that so that way you can have a soft tone because the silver pearl in my refresh is very pigmented sometimes you just want it soft enough to make the hair white but not dark gray right and what you're going to love about using Olaplex too as a pre-treatment while toning your hair in the shower with my refresh is that it's acidic so it closes the cut cuticle and especially when your hair is pre-lightened you need to keep that cuticle shut. You can see that ADSS processing right there where it's turning gray violet. Do not be scared, that is normal. And then this is the ADSS with clear. You could then bring that ADSS with clear down and blur it on down. And remember, when you dry the hair, you will not see the violet. Especially after you iron style it, you won't see it. You need that violet there always to ensure that the color does not look yellow. You could block off this section with a mesh sheet to get to isolate that and let that incubate while you work on the next section. All right, so now this is Silver Moon 10, the most beautiful silver you ever experienced in your whole life. We're gonna apply this right on top of her head and don't worry, this is gonna go over her natural. It won't affect it. See how a lot of the natural gray hair are very wiry. They kind of stick up everywhere. This will soften up that hair. Y'all know Ariana, she's my best friend. I've known her for 13 years. Right? Yeah. And you have worked alongside me, you have traveled the world with me. And here she is, we're still here. Yes. It's all about communication and acknowledging anything. Anytime that we do anything, we always acknowledge each other's feelings. Mm -hmm. Communication is hard because like sometimes we as human can kind of get prideful and we have like our own little ego sometimes and we don't want to admit that we're wrong. It always goes back to intention. Yeah, because sometimes you can apologize for something, but if your intention is malicious, mm -hmm. then there's no apology for that. But if you have good intentions yes. and not cruel intentions, then that apology, <laughs> right? That's a great movie, cruel intention. Yes, love it. The overdirecting really made a big difference when in the application. Right, you want to bring the Silver Moon 10 down right through there where that soft demarcation line is. Place it right on down, leave the ends out. If you need to do additional toning, you could do it damp at the bowl if there's any type of splotchiness, anything, because you already laid the foundation down with the color melting. Now, if you need any further toning that's overall glazing, you could do that right after as well. Remember, there's no right, there's no wrong on how many times you have to tone sometimes. It's about getting it right, getting the tone right, because everybody's hair can respond slightly different, but you need the right product. Now I'm applying the Silver Moon with clear right over the ends so that way the ends don't grab too violet. Now remember while the hair is wet and processing, you will see a lot of the violet tone, but when you rinse and shampoo the hair and blow dry it out, a lot of that will dissipate. So do not let that frighten you. Just know that's part of the process because of the oxidation. And also know that if there's a slight hint of violet, when the hair is dry within a shampoo or two, it will look silver because you need that to control the yellow. It's the color wheel, it's color theory, it's life. I don't make the rules. I work with the rules and so should you. <laughs> you know the laws of color, use your knowledge. And when you have that consultation with your client, give them that confidence, let them know the process. Consultation is very important. Walk them through every step so there won't be any surprises. It's when you stay quiet because you're scared or you don't know your client might not know what's going on. They want to feel that you have confidence and knowing that, yes, your hair might have a little bit of violet tone, but know that once it's dry, it's fine, or with the two shampoos, it's fine. It's all about you reassuring your client that consultation's everything. It's like communication and relationship. If people don't know what's going on, they might not trust you because they feel like you're lying to them, you're keeping a secret. The same thing with our clients, that's a relationship, right? A business relationship is just like a personal relationship. It takes communication. Talk, okay? You want your clients to be loyal to you? You gotta treat them like you care. We're gonna let mom process for about 25 minutes and then we're gonna rinse this out. All right, take a look at her hair. We're shampooing her hair with the My Confidant Color Securing Shampoo. And when the hair is wet, because it's wet, you'll see a little bit of that violet hint, but know that when it's dry, you will not see it because it's gonna be more iridescent because the hair will fluff up. And also this will ensure that the color will last a long time. But take a look at that. Look how icy white that is. It just has that hint of violet to cancel. But once that dries, you won't see it. Look at the ends right here. Look at the silver white. <gasps> look at that. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Mom, look, you got the result. You're silver. <laughs>
<laughs> you so like beautiful. It? Yeah. So beautiful. I love it. Doesn't it look natural? Yeah, it really looks like natural. Look at this. But this is color. I love it. You've been wanting this color for a long yeah, time. I I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Looks even healthier now because mm -hmm. now you don't have to worry about touching up the... No more. No more. No more no touch more. up. No more. This is so good. Okay, so you're going to take this home with you, okay, mom? Take silver pearl. I already mixed this one for you. I mixed the I mixed the Olaplex with the silver pearl, so you could put this on your hair to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. um, if you ever see a change in color for whatever reason, uh, that's gonna help you. But okay. you're not gonna need to because we really toned you very well with okay. the silver moon. Look at this. You got all the dimension. We mm -hmm. kept some of your the natural low lights that you have in your hair, and then we added in that silver moon and the ASS. And you, and you have this natural money piece that's popping around your face because your hair is mm -hmm. already light there, but we connected. it. All right, so make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, follow, leave your comments below. My mom is really camera shy. She's not used to the camera often, so she is stepping out of her box to really, you know, be on here. It's a treat, right? Like this heart. This is what we do. It's like heart, like mwah, love you, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, there's love. <laughs> my mom's gonna debut her hair. Look at my mom. Where are they at? Where are they? We are having hot pot. My mom's debuting her hair. It's a hot pot here with my mom. And we are celebrating her new hair color that I'm so excited about. I'm also here with my dad. And my dad's over here, he's hungry, and Elmore, my husband, and the whole entire family. Look at all these hot pots on the table, look at this, look at all the good food. Anyway, I just want to share this moment with you because we're so happy. Alright, so me and my mom got done eating, we're gonna go get some boba. Uh, time to go get boba. <laughs> but look at this color, the debut. She gets to go out and show off her silver hair, we're super happy. She's so happy working her hair. Look at the mm -hmm. silver. Ooh! You look good, huh? It looks so good. It looks even more silvery in here. It looks so good. I just want to capture in all the lighting so you can see. You see that hair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so insane how pretty it looks. So we're getting boba right now. And I just want to show. I mean, we have orange lights. I mean, look at these lights. There are orange lights, and her hair still looks so silvery in this orange light. Give my mom some love. Get that thumbs up for this color. Look at this. I just can't stop being so obsessed with this color. And well, I'm so happy. Look, she can't stop smiling. <laughs> Do you like it? Is it too sweet? It's all sweet, huh? Too sweet. Mm. Uh, 